<clears throat> All right, so today we're going to talk about naming acids, and the, the crazy thing is, it sounds like an intimidating thing, but it's not too bad. However, the first thing, make sure that we know our polyatomics, because if you don't know the polyatomics, especially the ones that end in A-T-E, notice I didn't include bisulfate, bicarbonate, those cyanide, uh, oxygen, peroxide because what we're going to do with those we can't take and use them. Also what we can't really use is ammonium for naming acids. Um, we typically won't use hydroxide because if you put an H in front of that you make HOH which is what? Water. Very good. So, But all the other ones we can use to help name acids. And when we do that there's, what we're going to do is, remember the box that I gave you guys on the polyatomics there at the bottom? This is that information. So, most of the polyatomics end in ATE, which means like chlorate, ClO3. So, if I remove one oxygen, I don't have ClO3, but I have ClO2. So, I don't call it chlorate, I call it chloride. If I take another oxygen away, so now I don't have ClO3, but I have ClO, I have a hypochlorite. I can also add an oxygen to chlorate and make it ClO4 and call that perchlorate. Okay, so keeping this in mind will help us with naming acids. I know you have that already memorized already. And most importantly, when doing all that, the charges never change. So adding oxygens, removing oxygens, if you have chlorate, it will always have a negative one charge. Now, that's why you want to know your polyatomics, of course. Oops. Okay. If the anion, what's an anion again? Negatively yeah, negatively charged particle or non-metal. So if your non-metal does not contain oxygen, that's huge. If it doesn't contain oxygen, we're going to use hydro in front of the acid name. And then we're going to drop the last syllable or last two syllables and add ick. So for example, what is Cl? Chlorine, so we call it chloride. Drop the last syllable, we have chloric. Since HCl doesn't have an oxygen, you call that hydrochloric acid. Okay. So again, hydro when there's no oxygen. If you see an oxygen, don't even think about putting a hydro in there. Okay. So hydrochloric. Okay. What would we call HF? Hydrofluoric, very good. So you have the fluorine, you get rid of the ene and put ick, but since there's no oxygen, hydro, hydrofluoric acid. H2S, hydrosulfic, actually you'll find out it's hydrosulfuric, but if you called it hydrosulfic, I would count it because you're doing the last, the syllable name. Now, let me ask you a question. Why is there two hydrogens here where there's only one there? What is the charge on sulfur? Uh, two. Negative two. So hydrogen's plus one, so we got to balance charges. These are ionic compounds. So what's the charge on fluorine? Minus one. That's why we have one hydrogen. Good. Okay, so still balancing charges. All right. If the nonmetal or the anion does contain oxygen, then we're going to typically look at if it has eight or ite, and that'll determine whether we have an ick at the end or an us. Now the beautiful thing is acids only end in ick or us. Ick, us, ick, us, ick or us. Okay, so again if it ends in A-T-E, we drop the A-T-E and add ick. So like for example, if I have sulfate. Good, yeah, so if you called it sulfic, not a problem. It's actually sulfuric. But what would the formula be for sulfuric acid? And I'll give you a hint. H2SO4. Excellent. Okay. And that's sulfuric, or if you called it sulfic, I can live with that. Okay. Because you're following the rules. Now, as you listen to those names, you're going to go sulfic or sulfuric. Sulfuric sounds right. You'll get used to it. But if you called it sulfic, we'll fix that. All right. What is NO3? What's that poly? 
nitrate. So drop the eight and add ick. Nitrate. Is there is this hydronitric? No, it is not. Nitric acid. Because again, if it has an oxygen, no hydro. What is that? Hydrophosphate. Not hydro. There's an oxygen. Phosphoric. Okay. And if you called it phosphic, I could live with that. So phosphoric acid. No hydro because there's oxygen. But notice that it, we're just dropping the ATE and adding ick. And of course, I'll sit at the end. Oh, good transition. So what if it ends in ITE? So we take an oxygen away, then it does end in OUS. What a good segue. That was perfectly timed. So now we're looking at sulfite because it's one less oxygen than sulfate. Sulfurous or sulfurous? It's all right. It doesn't matter what it sounds like. What we haven't been conditioned to, and I'll be honest with you, the acids that you've probably heard up to this point are like hydrochloric, sulfuric acid. Maybe that's it. So all of these are sounding a little strange. Okay. Sulfurous. Or if you called it sulfurous, I could, again, I can live with that. All right, so now we're not looking at nitrate, but we're looking at nitrite. So what's this called? Nitrous. There you go. Awesome. And it's not the same stuff you put in your cars. All right, what is, don't, don't tell me what the name of the acid is, but this is carbonite. Good, carbonate is CO3. So what is this? Carbonate. Carbonus or carbonus? Yeah. That'll work too. Alrighty. All right. Now we're now we're we're teetering on the ledge here. So we've taken two oxygens away from nitrate. What do you call that polyatomic? NO. Hypo. Nitrite. Remember, the hypo means that we took two oxygens away. So what would the name of this acid be? Hyponitrous. Very good. Now, keep in mind, hypo and hydro are not the same critter. All right? And we'll never have a hydrohypo. Can't have a hydrohypo. Hyper? But we have per for that. Sad. So this would be... Not just nitrous acid, but hyponitrous because it tells us two oxygens were taken away. All right, so sulfate is SO4, but we have SO2, so what is this? Hypo sulfurous, good. Or sulfus, yeah. Uh, it takes warts off. <laughs> All right, now here's a nice little table that you might find quite helpful. Um, here we're looking at chlorate, ClO3, and it actually is like adding an oxygen or removing oxygens. And let me see if I can move this up a little bit. Uh, of course not. Here, let me scan through this. All right, it's kind of cutting it off here. Um, so, again, here we have the ClO3, which is chlorate. If you add one more oxygen, that's perchlorate. So this would be perchloric acid. Why is it ick? Because it still ends in ATE. <laughs> if I take one oxygen away, now we have an us because we have an it ending. If I take two away, then now it's a hypo us. And then if all the oxygens are gone, good old hypochloric. So this is a nice little quick guide to help you Kind of refresh your memory, your newly formed memory on acids. Now, today's homework, just like Mercury said, it's like a game show today. That's awesome. There's a there's a there's somebody named Mercury in here. Well, it makes sense that you didn't know this. I don't like her. You say my name is Lucas. 20,000 times. Or that's what you're saying. 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 Or that's what you're saying.
This kid is fucking great. There's, there's, there's a Celeste somewhere in the area. Um, make sure that you are ready for the quiz on Monday, and this is your homework. Okay, so the homework for today is name that asset. And I did, I am so nice, and that I put this information on there for you to kind of bring back those fond memories that you just won two minutes ago. That's what I'm here for. All right, Gavin and uh, Celeste, if you can. Hey, Gavin. What did you ask me? How are you supposed to know? I'm sorry, Brock. Sorry. What? How are you supposed to know like which number it's supposed to, like it is originally? Oh, now that's a good question. How are we supposed to know that? It's not how are we supposed to know it. How do I recall those memories? Yes. It's not sulfate. I know. That's the beauty. <laughs>